So for part A, the helicopter speed V prime is equaling 6.2 meters per second, which implies the speed of the package V initial equaling 12 minus V prime equaling 5.8 meters per second. And then this would be with respect to the ground. And we can then say for part B, um, delta x is equaling velocity in the x direction times t, and then we have delta y equaling one half g t squared, where delta y is equaling 9.5 meters. We can then see that the time t would be equaling the square root of 2 multiplied by 9.5 meters divided by 9.8 meters per second squared, and this is giving us 1.39 seconds. Given this, we can say that delta x is then equaling 8.08 .08 meters for the package. And then we can say, well, delta x prime for the helicopter is going to be equaling negative v prime times t, and this is equaling negative 8.63 meters. So we can say that the horizontal distance between them, delta x, you say delta x total, sure, it'll be 8.08 .08 minus negative. So 8.08 .08 plus 8.63, which is giving us approximately 16.7 meters between the helicopter and the package. This would be our final answer for part B. For part C then, the components of, v, of the velocity at the moment of impact, v sub x, v sub y, this is going to be equaling to 5.8 comma 13.6. Of course, the units are meters per second. And we can then say that arctan of 13.6 divided by 5.8 this would give us the essentially the angle or the dis or the direction 67 degrees so we have our final velocity in uh, vector notation and then our direction 67 degrees that is the end of the solution thank you for watching